So, my the thing I've been thinking about lately is and, and trying to manifest is is money and abundance of money, and to the effect of I don't want to have to worry about anything except for traveling and doing whatever I want to do, um, getting out of this job that I absolutely can't stand. This industry it's just icky, and. Um, and well, well, we can save you a lot of trouble and just tell you that you can't get there from there. No, 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 no. I understand that. So I've been changing. Well, we're my not thought. sure you do. Okay, okay. Because if you really understood that, you would spend no time talking about anything about a job that you can't stand that you've got to get out of. In other words, you would never put words to that mm -hmm. because that's upstream and that's slowing you. In other words, every moment you spend in a job you don't like, your vibrational escrow becomes brighter and more prolific with the abundance that you are reaching for. Mm -hmm. And every moment you spend talking about that is a moment spent not letting yourself go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my question was, how can I meditate and manifest the winning lottery numbers? You cannot get there from there. You can't get there from there. Because what you you see, here's the thing. You can you can manifest winning lottery numbers, but mm -hmm. the thing that is most interesting about that is that when uh, he, here's what you're saying and how it's playing out vibrationally. You're saying you've said, "I want I want a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And that's a little bit like saying, I want to eat all of the food that I will ever eat today. And we say, can you feel how it is softer and less resistant to say, I want money to flow to me in abundance that I can comfortably enjoy. It's a softer statement. Yes. And, but when you say, I want a lot of money mm -hmm. and you don't have any way of believing that it will come, then when you say, I want a lot of money, it's an uphill statement. Can, now let's play with this just a little bit so that you can mm -hmm. feel it because it's a big topic for so many of you mm -hmm. so we're just going to offer some words under some conditions and we're going to demonstrate by pointing whether it's upstream or downstream feeling okay. and we're predominantly going to focus upon the vibration that is yours but it's not so different from what a lot of people in the room are feeling so this will be beneficial to everyone so I want to win the lottery. Mm -hmm. Now that was clearly an upstream statement because what it what it was saying is I want something that I don't have and I don't see any viable way of getting it. So I want it to come through this method that I believe is possible but the odds of it happening to me are really really remote. In other words, that's that's what when in when you say I want to win the lottery, that's what the vibration of it is saying. Okay. And it's upstream and therefore counter to all of this money that's calling you here. Mm -hmm. So so when you feel that, in other words, when you feel that in your stomach, in other words, do you buy lottery tickets? Do any of you? When you buy lottery tickets, do you do you feel euphoria while you're putting your money down? If you're feeling euphoria while you're putting your money down, then keep doing it for the entertainment value. In other words, but but for the most part, what we see in those who are in Las Vegas or those who are spending their money on the lottery is that those are upstream actions for the most part. It's a really rare one of you that is just bipping along and all of a sudden is overtaken with a feeling of elation and you can just feel that you have this driving urge to go buy a lottery ticket. Now, if that ever happens to you, go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> But if it is not that feeling that you are feeling, in other words, if, and so then people say, well, Abraham, I'm not really sure what I'm feeling. And we say, that's exactly the point that we've been trying to make all day here today. You've got this mix of energies going on that you have become accustomed to. And most of you are not really that keenly aware if your feelings downstream or upstream, because you're up and down and up and down and up and down. And you don't focus upon anything long enough to really feel the feeling of it. Our friend just before who was talking, 
she'd been focused in alignment with source long enough that she felt the true ecstasy and if she felt like that while she was thinking about a lottery ticket she should go buy a lottery <laughs> ticket and it would be a winner we're not kidding you right. but when you're buying one out of hope or when you're buying one because you're bored or you're buying one because you don't want to go home and wash the dishes or you're buying one because you're in other words m people are buying lottery tickets in all kinds of vibration that will not possibly yield them what they want mm -hmm. and so now we're not saying to you that this is not a good process by which your fortune will come to you we're just saying don't buy the ticket till you line up the energy don't buy the ticket till you line up the energy and when you line up the energy you won't need the ticket mm -hmm. because when you line up the energy the universe will yield it to you through this path of least resistance and this one and this one and this one and this one until all of a sudden money will be flowing into your experience and you will laugh at the remarkable ways in which it will come ways that you didn't count on ways that you didn't plan for ways that you didn't queue up for in terms of action just because you flowed the energy and you stopped doing that thing you do that kept you out of the stream of it you say what I have noticed I think is pretty funny is med meditating just on um, imagining myself having this abundance of money and, and just having this and not having to worry about anything uh, the funny thing is it's little things come to me um, here and there but like my sister is getting you know decent refund back plus she ever paid something she's getting more money back there and then my uh, boyfriend is getting a huge lump sum of money from out of nowhere and it's like it's manifesting all around me but not specifically for me well all of that's for you it's for you to see how it happens and if you will step back a little bit we want to we want to find a, a way into your belief system or we'll use some will will tell you some stories so that we can work our way in there there are people who are earning all around this world so disproportionate to the action that they are offering that you could not possibly reconcile the wealth that's flowing to them you just can't reconcile it there are a majority of people that are accustomed to performing an action and receiving a financial response performing an action and receiving a financial response and when your income is tied to an action the amount that you can receive proportionately is minuscule and we would put the lottery even in that same sort of category mm -hmm. when you're trying to make it happen by performing an action you are limited by the beliefs that you have about time and space mm -hmm. in other words you will say I only I only make this much per hour and there's only this many hours in a day and then you can work overtime and you can work double time and you can work extra time and you can leverage your time in different ways but until you leverage through a alignment you really are in the category with millions of other people where not very much is going to happen mm -hmm. where if you say okay I'm willing to play the game differently I'm willing to accept on faith maybe a little that Abraham's right and that all of the struggling that I've done has put a lot of money for me in vibrational escrow and I'm willing to go on faith that this universe is abundance and that there is an open valve for me through which I can receive abundance I'm willing to go along with that idea mm -hmm. and I'm willing to play it that way for just a little while where instead of considering action in relationship to money I instead consider emotion in relationship to money how do I feel about money how do I feel about money I'm gonna leverage through emotion rather than bang it out through action I'm gonna leverage now that doesn't mean stop your action go to work do whatever you need to do let the money come in in the little pitiful mediocre way that it flows into your experience in other words you, you don't want to pinch that off let it come but while it's coming appreciate it while it's coming look forward to it while it's coming uh, compliment yourself and compliment the others in other words let it be an energy game while you're living the action game because you can do both it doesn't have to be one or the other mm -hmm. and then what you will begin to notice 
when you find ways of changing the way you feel about money for example when you go to purchase something and you're shocked at the cost of it Esther remembers years ago going into a department store and seeing the most beautiful blouse that she had ever seen and her heart just leaped because she liked it and wanted it and when she turned the tag over and saw how much it cost she felt such disappointment that she was mad at the department store she was angry at the industry she was angry at the manufacturer and if we had been visiting with her in those days we would have said to her Esther this is a turning point moment for you this is a moment where you had a knee-jerk reaction that turned you right upstream and a lot of people turn right upstream over something just like this but you can't let yourself have a knee-jerk reaction and be turned upstream and ever be in a position where things will be better for you you've got to soften this feeling and if we'd been talking to her then we would have said to her don't buy the blouse today but plan to get it later and appreciate the beauty of it and hold it in your mind's eye and Esther in that angry moment would have said buzz off whoever is talking in my head in other words she would not she would not have had any of that because she wanted it and she wanted it now and she couldn't afford it and she wanted it now and she wanted it now and she couldn't afford it and she wanted it now and she wanted it now but what we are saying her now cannot improve as long as she keeps having those kinds of knee-jerk reactions when you're jealous of people who have money you've got a habitual pattern upstream when you're disappointed that you don't have money you've got a habitual pattern upstream when you're appreciative of the money you have even if it isn't very much you're flowing downstream when you're appreciative of the money you have when you have the when the money that you have feels good to you and you say to yourself things like it's good that I have this money and I'm proud of myself for having brought this money into my experience and I'm a good budgeter of money and I like how far I I've made my money go and I like I like the feeling of money and I like putting the money here for this and putting the money here for this and putting the money here for this I like this feeling of managing money and I'm good at managing money and I like this money and I'm looking forward to more money that is coming and as more money comes I'm gonna do this with it and this with it and, and the money that comes is gonna be fun in this way and this way and this way now no matter what your state of money there are people who have a lot more money than you do who are worried about it and have pinched themselves off there are people who have a lot less money than you do do who are thrilled with it who have opened an avenue where there's abundance of money right on their doorstep in other words you just got to find a way to feel good about whatever the subject is in this case money and when you feel good about where you stand so here's here's we talked earlier about what we want you to leave here feeling above all other things and that is I have the power to turn in the stream and I don't need to put a motor on my boat and get all the way to the winning lottery ticket I just need to turn in the stream as often as I can be aware I just need to turn in the stream and now we want to leave you with something that is equally important which is I am where I am and that's okay I'm putting my boat in the stream where it is and everybody's up and down the stream putting their boat in the stream at different places it doesn't matter because you're not in competition with anyone for any resources the only thing that you if there is any competition at all and there isn't is the closing of the gap between the money you want and the money that you feel right now so when you change the way you feel about money even though there isn't any money that gives you the reason to feel the change in other words you got to find the feeling before you get the money and when you find the feeling you've turned in the stream and when you've turned in the stream you'll find the money